What's up guys, I'm Seth from the band Shallow Side, and you're watching Gear Masters. Uh, we're out on tour with the band Rachel Loren right now. We've been going all over, all across the country, all across the Midwest. We're in Barrington, Illinois at the Penny Road Pub tonight. And real quick, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of all my gear. Give you, a, give you a good idea why it makes this sweet, tasty, groovy tunage. Alright, right here is the receiver for my Line 6 G50 wireless unit. I put it on my pedal board, that way I don't have to like have it sitting anywhere else and I can just have cables running from the amps to this. And I've got my 25 foot Megami cable right here. I've got it run like this. I call this my oh shit cable. Because right, just in case something messes up with my wireless, I can just rip it out of here, plug it straight into my guitar. Good to go. Quick and easy fix. This is right here with my Boss DD20 dual pedal Giga Delay. It's got all kinds of different functions on it. It's even got a loop function on it, but it's one of the best delay pedals I've seen. It's got, uh, it's got, one, got the clean, some of the cleanest delays. It's uh, a really good pedal. Um, I use it in a few different songs. Uh, I end of the deep, uh, my addiction. I use it for just like the really spacey like verses I do because I do a lot of like a lot of the ambient like spacey guitar work. Uh, let's see, in Rebel, I use it because the in, like because the verse riff has a slight delay on it, so I've got it where it's not overpowering, but it's just enough to get the point across. Okay, and I run this into my Dunlop Crybaby Classic Wah pedal. I really don't use it that much, but mainly when I use it, we've got a little, we've got a jam we'll do, and it'll come to a part so Rage Against the Machine, Killing in the Name of. Actually, no, it's Bulls on Parade. My bad. Uh, the little wow wow chicka wow wow chicka 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 wow wow. Mainly do it for that. You know? I keep a constant like up and down motion for that, but that's what I use that for mainly. And I run that in my TC Electronics Corona chorus pedal, and mainly it just adds like just a little flair, a little extra flavor to your chords, whatever note, whatever kind of note you're making or want to make. You want it to sound just a little bit different than just the plain old tone you're creating. And from that, the Boss TU3 Chromatic Tuner Pedal. This is one of the best tuner pedals I've ever used, personally. What's up, Seth? What's up? Uh, yeah, it's one of the best tuner pedals that I've personally this used, stage just because like, I can plug it into here and I go through the bypass right here. So as soon as I turn this on, it meets my amp. Like mutes everything, so I can just tune it without the just annoying. Like you know, it's just annoying when you hear somebody try to tune in the middle of the set. Everything's going. Singer's trying to talk, and you just say, Nyeh! "It's like that's that's just not cool. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes that at all." All right, and from here, I run this. It's a live wire ABY box. I use this to swap between these two Fuchs amp heads right here. The A channel, if I've just got it on here, I'm just using this head coming out of this cab. If I get it on the B channel right here, it's just using this cab coming out, or this head coming out of the other cab on stage left. And if I've got it on both, it's using both of them. That's uh, mainly what I do for courses when I have both of these running. If I've just got one running, I'm just doing a verse because this one is the one I use for my clean tone as well. So I'll turn, I'll turn it just on A, turn it on clean, or if it's just a slightly less powerful distortion than I need, I'll just have it on the A channel. Then when we kick into the chorus, I'll click both of these on, and yeah. It's basically like you kind of have having two guitars without having two guitar players. It's the basic concept of it. And then this runs into two ISP Decimator 2 noise suppressor pedals. Uh, some of the best noise suppressors I've seen. Uh, definitely one of the best ones out on the market right now. It just gets rid of some of that. I uh, just some of that hum, some of the extra like little popping, some little ang de lang dang clonk clonks you do here and there. It helps like it helps like get rid of that a lot. Um, yeah, that's mainly what a noise suppressor pedal is for. And then I run both of these. This one runs into this bottom head right here and this one runs into the top head. Both of these heads are Fuchs Manus 100s. 
Uh, they both got really good, really powerful like tone, really good mid range, really good low range, just really powerful, powerful heads. Um, I've been playing these for probably the better part of three, four years, something like that. I mainly I started out just using this one, but then I hit him up one day, told him I was going to start using a two head setup, uh, basically run it stereo. And they, uh, they, yeah, they sent me out one of these. And well, actually, no, I went and picked it up from them in Clifton Park, New Jersey. Uh, really great people, nice people. And from this bottom head, I run it right here into this Mesa 412 cab. It's got, it's got a really good low end, a uh, really good tone all around for a cab. Basically, everything you want in a cab. Good cab. Okay. <laughs> and uh, this cab over here. It's a PD410. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Gets the job done. I'll start off with the crown jewel of my guitars. So right here's the PRS Zach Myers SE. Silver sparkle burst finish. Just a beautiful, beautiful work of art. Beautiful work of art. I've got the bridge pickup and the neck pickup swapped out for EMGs 85, 81. This middle one doesn't really do anything, but it looks cool. Uh, the reason this one doesn't do anything though is just because it's a passive pickup. And when we swapped out the stock pickups for the EMGs, the actives, they... Passive and active just really doesn't work together. You'd have to do all kinds of crazy wiring and it's just not really worth the hassle. But it looks really cool. Um, I use this guitar for drop C sharp. It's a half step down basically. It's what our entire first EP is recorded in as well as a few more songs that we play. Um, basically on my knob settings I'll just put everything wide open except I'll except I'll usually have this pickup turned off like the volume all the way down on it that way if I need to like cut out or if I need to like have no sound coming out or anything I just flip my pickup switch up and that kills it. No sound coming out at all. Um, I'll, on this guitar, I'll generally use Ernie Ball skinny top heavy bottoms because like, it's got the thicker strings right here, so you can still get the, just that meatier, beefier tone. But it's also still got some mildly thinner strings for the last three for like all your leads and if you need to do anything quick and all that good stuff. It's just really good, versatile strings, great guitar. And yeah, my girlfriend actually calls this one the baby because she got it for me. We actually argue about all the time of who owns this guitar. I'm like, come on, you don't even play guitar. But, yeah. She got it for me, and she's awesome for it, but it's, it's mine. Damn it. <laughs> uh, this one right here, it's as far as tone and playing goes, this is probably my best guitar. It's the S2 Custom 24 from PRS. Uh, again, I took out the stock pickups, swapped them out for EMG X series pickups. Uh, also, 81 or 85 and 81. Uh, just because, like, these are honestly some of the best pickups I've ever played on because they've they've still got that power, they've got that bite that you want from EMG, but they've also got a lot more flexibility. You can be a lot more dynamic with them. Like, you don't. It's not just wide open constantly all the time. And. Yeah, this guitar I'll use for drop C tuning. Uh, generally, what I'll pl what I'll, the songs I'll use it for in our set are My Addiction and Stand Up. That's our set currently. Just anything we have, anything we play in drop C, I'll use this guitar for. Um, also, I use the Ernie Ball Skinny Top Heavy Bottoms on it. Again, like I said, it gives you that good beefy tone. Uh, good lead work, all that good stuff. And... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll generally just use the bridge pickup and just keep all my settings wide open. Just because that's how I like to live my life, wide open by the seat of my pants. <laughs> Alright, this beautiful work of art right here is my PRS Paul Allender SE model. Uh, it's actually got really, it's, this is actually a really cool guitar. It's instead of birds like PRS typically has for their inlays, this thing has bats. And this is the only PRS I've ever seen that comes stocked with EMG pickups. In case you haven't noticed, I, I really like EMG pickups. I love them. So, uh, EMG, sponsor me. <laughs> but yeah, I'll typically use this guitar for standard tuning. But we haven't been, 
playing any songs in standard tuning lately, so this is mainly my backup guitar. And this is probably about the best backup guitar you could ask for, because in its own right, it's a badass guitar. And um, I use the same kind of strings on this guitar as I do the other two, so I'm not going to bore you with those details. But one cool thing about this is it's got coil tap on it. Coil tap basically splits the pickup in half, so if you ever see... Like if you see a guitar that's got humbucker pickups, it's got the two separate ones right here, pull that up, it basically cuts it in half, gives it kind of a kind of a fender-like tone sort of thing, because they've got single coil pickups as opposed to dual coil, dual coil pickups. And yeah, it's a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> this one is an LTD EC1000. Yeah, I mainly have to use, we're actually endorsed by PRS, but I mainly have to use this one because they need, to, they need to send me a baritone. I would love to have a baritone. So Rich, if, if you have any extra baritone just laying around the office, uh, it'd be great. I, I would really like one. Those things are awesome and beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this is the one, this is the guitar I've been using to play our new song Rebel that's out on the radio right now because it's, it, Rebel is in drop B which is a much lower tuning than anything else we play in. So it has to be set up specifically for that. And the reason I have I chose this guitar is because, like I said, we are endorsed by PRS, so I want to use PRS guitars for most of, like, as much of our set as possible. So if there's a song we only play once in the set, I'm going to pick the non-PRS guitar to play that since it's my only option. But in its own right, though, this is a glorious guitar. Glorious guitar. It's got the locking tuners right here on the back. So you can just put the string in there, tighten this up, tune it up however you want to. Um, again, this one I generally like have it wide open on the bottom. I turn the top pickup off most of the time. That way, like, whenever it gets to a quick stop, I can just flip that up. No signal coming from the guitar. So it just cuts off like real quick, fast, and hurt. Um, in case you haven't figured this out by now, I'm a sucker for a good silver burst finish. You can thank Adam Jones for that one. Freaking tool, being so awesome. Bunch of assholes. <laughs> um, but yeah, plays great. Looks beautiful. Really lightweight. Great guitar. Love it. So guys, thank you guys for watching. I'm Seth Trimble. You just finished watching Gear Masters. And be sure to check us out at shallowside.net. We've got all kinds of awesome stuff. Anything you, anything you need Shallowside related. We've got awesome merch. You can check out all our tour dates. Uh, our drummer Heath, he writes these awesome blogs. Very entertaining, very good reads. Just go shallowside.net. Go check that out. You won't regret it. Um, check us out on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Twitter. We're all over that. Uh, just, just connect with us. We're great people, I promise. I promise. I promise. <laughs> also, be sure to call your local radio stations and keep requesting our new single, Rebel. Because, I, I mean, we want to hang out with you. And that's the, that's the quickest, easiest way that we can hang out with you is through our music, through your speakers. So the more you get the radio stations playing Rebel, the more we get to sit in the car with you and just jam out and have a good time. Yeah. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you at the next show. So come hang out.